Rock My Monkey TV. On behalf of them and Tatars from Olympia, Washington, my name is Michael Arms, sitting here with two cool fucking cats from Scorpion Child Man. Please introduce yourselves. How's it going? I'm Aaron. I'm Sean. Right on, man. So, first off, how's Mayhem Fest treating you, cats? I can't complain, man. Yeah, better than uh, better than expected. We're getting a lot of uh, really good response, and it's only uh, show number four. So. Oh, that's killer, man. Yeah, is there like a camaraderie between all the bands that you guys are noticing, or it's, it's starting to develop? I mean, yeah, we yeah. we've known we knew a couple people, you know, but now we're meeting more people, so it's 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 a good experience. Yesterday was uh, probably the first day where everybody kind of came out of their shells, and you know, uh, I think those first few shows where everybody was trying to kind of figure out like who are these guys, yeah, what and yeah. About? Yeah, and everybody's doing that to each other, but I, I think everybody's like seeing what's going on and, and having a good time and uh, and uh, really reaching out and like making some friends. Yeah. That's killer, man. So tell me about being a fucking kick-ass old school rock and roll band on a fucking metal tour. How's that? I mean, man, we bring it. It has been just an amazing experience for us. Uh, you know, when we were first told about the tour we just i mean there was no hesitation at all it was like this is this is has to be brought to the people you know? i think uh the type of rock that we're bringing to the to the table uh or to this festival is is uh kind of a breath of fresh air if you will some just a little bit different you know Absolutely. yeah yeah, but I like, think I think we hang with the energy and the and the volume and, and the yeah. <laughs> and, and I can vouch for these cats. I've seen them live in in a smaller setting, not a festival setting. It was indoor, man. A club called Louis G's. Shout out, man. But uh, I mean, you guys just fucking brought it, dude. You know, and you guys, uh, kick-ass rock, man. Like you, you cats definitely deserve to be on this festival, playing in front of fucking more than. 20 people obviously you know just just kick ass man it's awesome dude it's really cool to see you cats doing that shit Thanks. cool it's, yeah, yeah it's man a, it's a privilege to, to be able to play in front of this many people it's great yeah. man yeah. yeah it's great it's 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 an interesting um it's an interesting sound uh to, it, i mean it's like a variety uh, yeah. is what it offers more or less on a tour like this so to be a band that is different yeah. and you know contrast to, to hours and hours of you know the same brutal stuff you know all, all that being good stuff but just, just having exactly man it's like if you put one of those bands on a tour you know that's all you know rock and roll or country or something you know you're gonna be like whoa there's a band doing blast beats this is crazy you know yeah for sure man Awesome. Ah. <laughs> so, is there anything you guys want to tell me or the audience that they should know about Scorpion Child that that maybe the public doesn't know yet? You know, musically to somebody who may just be watching this interview. Uh, I mean, we're a relatively new band. Our record came out a week ago. Today's Wednesday, so yeah, it came out not yesterday, but the Tuesday before that. So. Uh, Nuclear Blast Records. Nuclear Blast uh, Which Records. Is a metal label as yeah, well, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So how's that? Is that uh, it's great. Well, you know, there's bands like uh, Graveyard and Witchcraft right. and Orchid on there, so uh, okay. it's not all just this doomy black metal stuff. It's yeah. you know they're they're starting to branch out and uh, kind of bring back the rock and roll element to it. Yeah, man. And uh, so Chris Smith produced you guys' album. Yeah. Uh, what do you think he brought to the table? You want to hold on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, it's all good. Did you? Can interview me. Uh, yeah. Hanging out with it yeah. for a minute, you know. Oh, man. He, yeah, I mean, he, he's somebody that isn't just a producer, but he's also, uh, you know, was in rock bands and and loves old rock bands. And even back in the day when we first kind of got this group together, he wanted to be on board uh, with us and was kind of kind of a mentor for us. You know, how to get our, you know, our act together and like what what the industry wants to see and or, you know just how to be a professional band and, and to like really realize uh, the dream and the goal that we were after so to be in the studio with him and he's already uh, had a history with us and he's uh, into rock and roll uh, you know he's uh, he pushes us to go bigger to go you know like let's redo that take redo that take like we can make this so much better 
and uh, and sonically, I mean, he just he just knew what he was doing, so we we trusted him with uh, with the music and uh, that. He definitely he, he definitely helped provoke the inner beast, which which created this album. So you know, we're proud of the record, and you know, just want to bring it to the people. We have it with us here at Mayhem Festival. Definitely pick that thing up, man. I listened to it on the way up here, and it was fucking killer, man. It's so rock and roll, dude. It's so cool. Do you have the nuclear blast? I don't have the actual copy. It was uh, it was being streamed via via phone through a Bluetooth thing. It's technology, man. But but yeah, do you know? I'll definitely be picking up a hard copy today for sure. Hell yeah. It just uh, what we just found out today that it debuted it in two spots on the billboard oh, yeah so uh yeah we'll see how it goes but that was kind of something nice to wake up to so uh, yeah people are responding to it so so tell me two things like one kind of your general tour prep what you guys do to get ready for a big tour and also maybe the difference between the tour you just did with clutch and a festival setting like how the indoor feel you know i guess in setup with instrumentation and in uh, different gear, like how that plays a role if you guys change your gear up at all, you know, from... I think the biggest thing that we prepare for is we look at our demographic. We look at who we're going to be playing in front of, and we typically choose a set list that yeah. caters a little more to, you know, uh, the different vibes of what kind of a tour we're on. You know, with uh, bands like Clutch for this festival, it's like a lot of people are going to want to hear that harder yeah. rock, so we're going to leave... You know, our softer side, you know, kind of behind, especially since, we, you know, we've got uh, time for about five or six songs, you know. So, you know, just bring it from front to back. And uh, so we just prepare that way. But uh, other than that, I mean, I don't think that we do anything different to prepare. Yeah. Is that, is that what sum it up for you too? Or? Man, that just about wraps yeah. it up for we that question. just do what question. we do yeah. and just yeah. take it or leave it. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, fucking... I mean, do you guys have anything you want to throw out there to the fans? Any, well, anything? All the fans that have already picked up the record or have heard of us yeah, and have supported you. us, yeah, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. You heard it best, man, from Scorpion Child themselves, man. Pick up their albums out on Nuclear Blast. Catch them on Mayhem 2013, dude, and uh, have a killer summer, you guys. Yeah, man. Fuck, oh, shit. <laughs> Stealing that. Awesome. What the hell, man?